The next point after evaluation is the negotiation, which is one of the main points in the whole this merchandising plan. So what the negotiation is about that if there is a basic norm about it that if you have good negotiated well with the supplier, then at the end of the day you will be able to sell good with as a, as a customer as as a retailer to your customer. So you buy you have bought good you will sell good. If you have negotiated bad you will be able to sell it badly. So normally the purchase terms are negotiated and there are some things which are uniform where the contract is uniform. So both are normally available but the retailer normally prefers to have negotiated agreement and these agreements are normally negotiated for a period of 12 months uh, starting from maybe January to December starting from uh, March to uh, March to March so it can be any 12 months so normally the contracts are uh, negotiated for this this way. Uh, then second is about the opportunistic buying. Once you go for negotiation, uh, there are sometimes there are opportunities. For example, in April or May, normally in the, the country like Pakistan where there are more electricity shortages, there is an opportunity buying for the generator. There's an opportunity buying, opportunistic buying for maybe for ACs. Uh, there is an opportunistic buying for uh, UPS. There is an opportunistic buying for the batteries. So in order to cater Need and in order once you are expecting a price increase or once you're, you want to get more margins, normally a retailer involves in this opportunistic buying. Of course, the objective of a manufacturer is to uh, get a big deal uh, for the for the business, and the objective of the retailer is to get the best price because you are going to uh, do that opportunistic buying for your retail store. And normally, this this the quantity you are going to buy is normally for not for uh, for 12 months is normally not for six months but it is for the sufficient period of time uh, which is normally planned by the retailer and then there are slotting allowances also which you negotiate with the supplier there are also uh, the the slots which for example if the quantity discounts if you are going to or the the if you are going to fulfill that a particular volume or if you are going to meet x number x amount of sales of course you will get some extra amount some extra percentage on the overall business so negotiation is the key so negotiation terms is about first of all is about the product which products you're going to buy and then about the the pricing of this product then normal pricing of this product the promotional pricing of this product what would be share of supplier in the store how much quantity is going to uh, he is interested to work with you because if the, the supplier is a good supplier, is a famous supplier, then of course it is supplier driven. So the approach in the negotiation that it should be customer driven and then not either retailer driven, not either supplier driven. Also about the credit days, about the credit period, about the delivery schedule, about the ordering time, about the delivery timings, about the ordering days, about the delivery days and about the delivery location. So all single, uh, all, all set of points are normally discussed and negotiated in this negotiation part. And then if you are able to make all positive points as a retailer, then it is your success because ultimately you are going to sell. Also, uh, back-end margins because that is one of the key points that you negotiate while negotiating with the supplier. Because if you have negotiated well with the supplier about the, the points which are under the negotiation table, for example, if you have negotiated with him about the best uh, backend margins, about the advertising support, about the secondary display, about the preferred supplier display, about the gondolas, about the uh, PUS material display. So everything, every marketing activity which you can do with the retailer or supplier can do with the retailer, retailer should normally charge for it. So the best part is how a retailer best negotiate with the supplier with the, uh, giving him uh, showing him more benefit of it and then getting benefit of every single point into this. And this, so there are also some other special provisions created for it. For example, if there is some uh, gala, if there is some electronics uh, gala, there is some uh, maybe food mela. So then there are special provisions which are kept for, uh, for this purpose. There are separate arrangements which are made and also included in the negotiated agreements. So normally a collaborative supplier a retailer program will give you an outlook of like this that you have the massive displays, you have the best price and of course at the end of the day you will get the best mileage 
from your customer either it is about the profit buster it is about the price break it is about the slam dunk deal is it about the electronic gala it is about the food mela it so every single merchandising program agreed between supplier and retailer of course turns out to be a positive 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 thing for the business for the retailer and that is the ultimate objective for a for a particular retailer